Good afternoon, everyone. Let me begin by thanking uh, Deputy Secretary Shanahan and Under Secretary Shannon, uh, my colleagues from Defense and State, respectively. As the Secretary has just pointed out and just mentioned a few moments ago, this NPR is the culmination of nearly a year of briefings with Congress, consultations with our allies and partners, and collaboration with experts from all three of our departments. The 2018 NPR reflects the President's priority to put America first, advancing our national interest by protecting our country and our allies and partners from those who would intend to do us harm. To that end, this year's NPR reflects a clear-eyed approach to modernizing our aged Cold War nuclear arsenal as we confront the challenging geopolitical demands of the 21st century. As with previous NPRs, this review reflects both continuity and change. In its robust support for the triad and its reaffirming commitment to nonproliferation, counterproliferation, and counterterrorism, the review endorses our basic nuclear policies of the past quarter century. However, the review also supports change in the specific area of nuclear weapons reduction. Over the past decade, while the United States has led the world in these reductions, every one of our potential nuclear adversaries has been pursuing the exact opposite strategy. These powers are increasing the numbers and types of nuclear weapons in their arsenal, which some, which, with some of them establishing doctrines of limited and coercive nuclear use. These moves, which are identified in the administration's recently released national security and national defense strategies, represent a change in the contemporary security environment. The United States needs to respond by achieving a new and effective balance in our deterrent capabilities. As for my agency, the Department of Energy, it is clear that our national laboratories, plants, and production sites play a vital role in ensuring that the NPR priorities are met. In order to support the U.S. nuclear deterrent for the next several decades, DOE needs to maintain capabilities that are modern, flexible, and resilient. And consequently, this NPR recognizes that the national imperative of recapitalizing DOE's infrastructure. We will be updating aging facilities, some buildings that are nearly 50 years old, and recapitalizing facilities that are needed to produce the strategic materials so critical to maintaining our arsenal. We will also continue our successful execution of programs that are designed to extend warhead life, and we will continue to meet the nation's deterrent requirement through our department's unique and highly technical capabilities. These programs and capabilities are the basis of our nuclear triad and the bedrock of our nation's deterrent. Supporting the NPR's goals of preventing terrorism and reducing global nuclear dangers, the Department of Energy will continue to focus on nonproliferation, counterproliferation, and counterterrorism. Together with our allies and partners, we have enjoyed great, great success in these areas. Finally, it is important to note that none of our modernization efforts are possible without people. This review recognizes the need for a highly skilled nuclear security workforce and its vital work to maintain a credible deterrent into the future. Thank you.